we are going to study about the characteristic equation poles and zeros of a transfer function first we will start with the poles and zeros of a transfer function let us first write the formula for the transfer function transfer function gs it is defined as the laplace transform of the output and the laplace transform of the input so it is ys by xs if we write it in the differential equation form then it will be the laplace transform of output it is given by so this is the representation of a transfer function now the numerator polynomial of the transfer function it is having m roots and the denominator polynomial it is having n roots so if we represent this transfer function in the form of the factorized form that is in the form of its roots then it will be so the factors of the numerator polynomial there are m factors so each factor it is represented by z0 z1 z2 till zm so there are n roots of the numerator polynomial and there are n roots of the denominator polynomial p0 p1 p2 till pn so the roots of the numerator polynomial they are known as the zeros of the transfer function so zeros will be z0 z1 z2 till zn okay or if we represent it it in a general form then it is zi are the zeros of the transfer function where i ranges from 0 1 2 till m okay and the roots of the denominator polynomial that is the p not p1 p2 and pn these are all called the poles of the transfer function so p0 p1 till pn these are all the poles so if we write it in general form then pj are the poles of the transfer function where j ranges from 0 1 2 till n okay so there are m zeros and n poles of the transfer function so these are the poles and zeros now let us study that what is a characteristic equation of a transfer function 
so let us find the that what is the characteristic equation of a transfer function let us first write the again write the that how we define the transfer function gs is equals to ys by xs and it is given by b not sm So this is the transfer function and if we take the denominator polynomial of a transfer function then it is given in terms of s. So if we equate this denominator polynomial to 0 then we will obtain an equation. Let's equate this denominator polynomial to 0. So this equation which we have obtained it is called the characteristic equation of a transfer function. So in this way you can find out the characteristic equation of a transfer function. So in this video we have studied the about the poles and zeros and characteristic equation of a transfer function. I hope you have understood it well. Thank you.